In this video, I'm going to show you three simple ways that you can write a news or events based article using AI writing software such as Jasper AI, which I'm looking at right now, as well as the free version of ChatGPT if you're not ready to invest in a premium AI writing software. So uh, one of the things that I've been doing recently for one of my clients is writing a lot of news and events based articles. Uh, I'm also doing some SEO content for them, but they've also got me writing a couple sort of news or events based articles a week, just short things about industry news and stuff like that. And this kind of writing is very popular. There's a lot of websites that generate pretty much all of their traffic just based off timely news type content. And a lot of it is just quickly researched online on other news websites or on Twitter or done via a quick, a few quick phone calls to the right people. And so it's a pretty valuable type of content. It's the type of content that a lot of people want to publish and a lot of people want to read. And it can actually be written very quickly using AI writing software like Jasper or like ChatGBT. And so in this video, I'm just going to show you three separate ways, two with Jasper, and then one way that works with Jasper or with ChatGPT. And we'll do that one in ChatGPT. And what I'm going to demonstrate is how you can quickly research a news event and turn it into your own article. Of course, you're going to want to cite your sources and everything like that, but this is just going to be a very quick demonstration of how to do that. And then I'll show how you can write the same type of article in a different way with Jasper, and then the same type of article with ChatGPT. And by the way, if you haven't tried Jasper yet, it is my favorite premium AI writing software, and I have an affiliate link in the description where you can get a free trial. It's a really great way to try it out, see what a professional tool is like, see if it's right for you. And if you do end up getting a paid account, I will get a commission for that. And so I really appreciate you taking a look. All right, so the first method we're gonna use is here inside my Jasper dashboard. And I just uh, clicked on templates over here. And then that brought me to the templates page. And you can find this commands template that I'm going to use in a number of different places. It's an email, it's in frameworks. And so you just have to find that or you can search for it up here. And so there are two inputs in this area. You have the command for Jasper and you have the background information. So in the command, we're gonna tell Jasper what we want to be written. And in the background information, we're going to provide our research. So I'm just gonna be basically copy and pasting the research from a news article, but you can do the same thing with uh, information you find on Twitter or on social media or your own notes from doing your own independent research. This is just gonna be a really quick version so that I can easily show you how this process works. So a command like this would be something like, write, uh, Write a short, punchy news article about, you know, what was this title? So this is just, all I did to find this article was I, I Googled uh, Bitcoin and then I clicked on the news tab, Google News. And this is one of the first articles that came up about uh, RFK Jr. Uh, I guess confirming that he bought a bunch of Bitcoin. Um, so I'm just gonna grab this, uh, kind of like the, the headline and the lead and copy that from over here. And uh, I'm just gonna paste that down here actually. And we'll say about RFK Jr. confirming that he bought significant, a significant interest in Bitcoin as well as his thoughts decentralized finance and relevant topics. I might have to do a little bit more research to make sure I have all the information I need, but that's kind of the basic command, just telling Jasper what I want. And I'll tell Jasper to cite all sources provided and include helpful information for people who are new to the crypto space. So that's a good basic command there. Uh, you can have up to a thousand characters in the command, but usually I only need two to 300 or even less. And then in the, uh, the background information, you can have up to 5,000 characters, which can be very useful because sometimes you want to include a lot of information. This time I don't have a lot to work with because I just chose a very short, basic news story. So here I've got the headline and the lead. I'm just gonna come back here and I'm gonna see what other information is important enough to be included. And right here we have a quote from RFK. So that's always a good thing to cite. Come back here and I'll just move this down to this new line and say quote from RFK. Put that in right after the Bitcoin conference. I decided to put my money where my mouth is and bought two Bitcoin for each of my seven children. Wow, that's uh, quite a bit of investment. 
we'll include this information because this is kind of relevant to the amount that he bought. This is kind of his policy promise related to that. So we'll say RFK, RFK has promised to exempt tax status, and that should be enough. Um, so again, I've got the background information down here. Could certainly have more than that, but again, this is just a pretty short uh, news story. And then we've got the command up here. And then uh, you can set the input and output language. I just pretty much always use English and English because I'm just writing in English. And then in tone of voice, you can put the name of a person who is uh, well known enough for the AI to have an idea what they sound like. Sometimes I use something like Joe Rogan if I want a casual sounding voice or Russell Brunson if I want like a really energetic salesy voice. Uh, but most of the time I just put adjectives and so I'll, I'll keep it at professional and friendly. That's generally a good place to stay. And then down here, you can say how many outputs you want. I'm just gonna keep it at one because it is gonna be a fairly long output. Even though it's a short news article, it's probably gonna be like 500 words, maybe a bit more. So I'm just gonna leave it at one for now and we'll hit generate. And it shouldn't take very long to spit out uh, a news article here. And so we have uh, in a recent announcement, Democratic presidential candidate RFK Jr. has confirmed that he has invested in Bitcoin. And it looks like there might be a couple uh, small factual errors. Um, but that's kind of the trade-off of AI writing is that, um, is that you save a lot of time with typing and actually generating the content. And then you have to be a little bit extra careful when you're fact checking and editing. But basically from there, I can either copy it into my word processor or I can hit uh, open in documents and it would create a new Jasper document that I could work with this in. And then I would, you know, edit it, update it, add any extra details or calls to action that I wanted, and then it would be pretty much ready to publish. And I'm gonna switch over to the document view now so that we can look at a second way to write this. But just before I do that, um, you can go back to templates and write some headlines for this article that way, but you can also do it right here. So I can just keep all the information the same in the background area and then say, write three short punchy headlines for this news article. And it should write three, I hit generate now. And there we go. RFK puts his money where his mouth is, buys Bitcoin for his kids. So these are actually really nice headlines. So I'd probably use one of those. Um, and then I would have my article and my headline. I just need to you know, edit, fact check, add links or whatever. And it would be pretty much ready to publish. And so now we'll go up to the document here, which is the second way to do it. Um, so actually, I'm just going to grab my, uh, my information here. And I'm going to come over here and paste this into the document. And then when you're in a document in Jasper, you can uh, actually go into what's called power mode and you'll have access to all the templates over here on the left. So I'm just gonna search topic and that should bring up a uh, blog post topic. And I'll just need to make up uh, a name for the uh, imaginary news page that I'm writing this for. So we'll say, uh, call it crypto news now. I hope that's not an actual website, I don't know. And then I should be able to fit all of this in there as the product description. And for the audience, I'll say uh, crypto investors. And we'll leave the tone of voice at professional and friendly and we can get rid of these examples. And everything else is kind of the same. And I'll, I'll leave it at three outputs because it's just gonna generate topic ideas or titles. And so here I've got three uh, options and I'm just gonna copy this one and I can make it the title as well as uh, turn off power mode here. Oops. Turn off, oh right, focus mode, there we go. And I don't really need to do anything with these. I could use them, but I'll probably just leave it. So that's my data down there. And then I've got my headline up here. And then, so there's a few different ways you can do this in the document, but the easiest way is probably just to, I'm just gonna pull this up here like that, to kind of make it one paragraph. And the easiest way to do this is probably just to use boss mode. Um, you can uh, highlight and then use Jasper to rewrite. Uh, you can rephrase with this button here, but probably the easiest way is just to use boss mode, which is where you write a command and then you hit control enter. And so for the boss mode command, we can just say something like rewrite the above paragraph to make it more interesting and 
informative. Then I'll hit control enter. So it actually rewrote the title as well as uh, the information underneath it. So I'll probably just delete that extra title. We'll see how the uh, new paragraph works. Got RFK Jr., a key figure in American politics and a Democratic presidential hopeful, has publicly announced his recent acquisitions of Bitcoin, echoing the growing acceptance of crypto's assets in the landscape. Decision to embrace Bitcoin, a revolutionary digital currency, blah, blah, blah. All right, so that's pretty good. It kind of made it a little bit more wordy, but also kind of a little bit more interesting, a little bit more information. So we've got that. And then, uh, so that's all my original content. And uh, I've deleted the part that it rewrote. And then I'll just move the cursor down below this paragraph and say, use the above RFK quote to demonstrate how wealthy wealthy Americans are embracing cryptocurrency. Control enter. And so you can see that it's written a little paragraph, it's a pretty long paragraph that uses the quote. So again, I just kind of expanded what was there and added a little bit more context. And uh, for the last one, the last couple of paragraphs, we'll just try uh, the rephrase. Change tone, change length, so they make it longer. And we'll replace it. And there we go. Now I have an article that is probably about twice the length of the, the one that I took my research from. And when I do this for real, I'm generally using my own notes uh, or I'm like reporting on an event or something. Um, or if I was doing something like this for real, I would, I would do actual research from multiple sources and pull data. But I just wanted to show you how you can do that really quickly. Um, so we've done it with the document as well as with the commands template. And now we'll uh, switch over to uh, actual chat GPT here and we'll uh, put that information in there. So I can basically use the exact same command as I used before, which was something like write a short news article about confirming that he bought Bitcoin, including relevant information as well as his thoughts on crypto and the included quotation. All right, so, and then I just have to hold shift and hit enter because if I hit enter right now, it'll, it'll use that as the prompt. Um, so I wanna add more, so I just have to hit uh, hold shift and hit enter and now I can go to a new line. And then I'm just gonna come back here and grab my uh, my background info again. I'm gonna chat GPT and paste that in there. And then usually when I do this, I like to just make sure I'm telling chat GPT exactly what everything is. So I might uh, go here and say command, oops, that's wrong, command. So it knows that that's the command. And then here I will say background information. So it's basically just, I'm pretty much just putting this command template into chat GPT um, and otherwise it's pretty much the same. And then I can just hit enter or this button and uh, chat GPT, you can see it wrote me a nice headline there and it's putting out a pretty decent article. And chat GPT tends to be a little bit long winded. You can see this is probably a longer article than either of the two that I wrote with Jasper and I would probably end up editing it down more but uh, overall, it both, but overall, all three methods did a pretty good job of writing good headlines, writing decent articles, um, compiling most of the information that I provided, and getting a lot of things right, even stuff that I didn't tell it specifically. And uh, obviously, I would have to edit and fact check and add the links and everything like that. But if I was writing this article for real, I just saved myself like you know 30 to 60 minutes of pounding the keyboard to type out the initial draft. And that is really what it's all about for me when it comes to using AI writing software. I don't want AI to replace me. AI can't replace me, at least not in its current, uh, the current tools that are available. However, it can speed up my process a lot and make it so that I spend less time uh, typing, which for me, I get repetitive motion injuries when I type too much. So this is just a super critical tool in my workflow as a content writer and copywriter. 
And anyways, that was three ways that you can write a great news article using Jasper AI or ChatGPT. Remember, I've got an affiliate link for Jasper in the description where you can get a free trial for my favorite AI writing platform. And remember to subscribe to my channel and leave me a like or a comment if you found this especially helpful.